Okay, so the, uh, the purpose of this uh, video is to demonstrate to you uh, the properties of a parallelogram uh, and in turn the different ways that you can prove that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram uh, and what, what I'm going to do is take you through the steps of the um, exercise that you would have done uh, towards the end of last lesson uh, where you were uh, proving triangle congruency uh, given uh, a parallelogram. So let's begin a parallelogram. Uh, here we have uh, uh, quadrilateral ABCD uh, and by definition if we know that both pairs of opposite sides are parallel uh, this uh, means that the quadrilateral is in fact a parallelogram. Uh, and what I'm going to do at this point is just take you through uh, essentially the proofs that you went through last lesson. And so we're going to begin by uh, showing one of the possible diagonals so a diagonal is a line segment joining non-consecutive vertices uh, of a polygon, in this case a quadrilateral. Uh, and then what you can see using alternate interior angles is that we would um, be able to show that angle BAC uh, is congruent to angle ACD, the blue marked angles. Uh, and similarly using alternate interior angles uh, with AD parallel to BC, uh, we could show uh, the red marked angles to be congruent. Uh, we also have, of course, a reflexive side AC, and this allows us to conclude that triangle ABC uh, would be congruent to triangle CDA. If we then used CPCTC uh, and we marked all corresponding parts of the congruent triangles, uh, we would end up with all of the additional markings that are now being shown on the parallelogram. So AB would equal DC, AD would equal BC, and we could also show that angles B and D were congruent to each other. And what this does is this highlights that if we are given a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel, we can prove through congruency that one of the characteristics of a parallelogram is that both pairs of its opposite sides are congruent. Um, and what we've done in this particular proof is also begun uh, to show the second property of a parallelogram so we've shown that one pair of opposite sides of a parallelogram uh, are congruent. So that's angle B and angle D. Okay. And so we're going to continue with that. First, I'm going to remove uh, the markings. And so we, we're back at the beginning with parallelogram ABCD. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the other diagonal. So this time diagonal DB. We're going to use alternate interior angles once again. So we have the green angles marked and uh, the kind of brown angles marked, uh, both using AIA with the two pairs of parallel lines. Uh, and then uh, we are going to uh, use the reflexive side once again. And this will allow us to show, uh, as we did before, triangle congruency, uh, this time between ABD and CDB. Uh, and once again, using uh, CPCTC, all the corresponding parts of the congruent triangles, uh, we can uh, mark uh, the parallelogram with the additional uh, piece of information. The one that we are most interested in, of course, is angle A and angle C, um, which all of the others uh, are already marked uh, in the first parallelogram. And so now, uh, once again, using congruency, but this time of the other triangles, we've completed uh, the property of a parallelogram, namely that both pairs of opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. Okay, I'm going to take those markings away, and what we've done is gone back to the original definition of a parallelogram, uh, namely uh, a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel. If I now draw in both pairs of the diagonals, um, uh, and so they intersect at point E, uh, I'm going to attempt to prove congruency between uh, a pair of the inner triangles, and so once again I'll use uh, AIA, this time I'm using AIA uh, the uh, uh, segments AD and BC uh, in both directions uh, and uh, I can show angle DAC congruent to angle BCA uh, and vice versa or similarly for the other two angles. Um, what we also have um, is side AD congruent to BC and that's based on the first parallelogram that we drew up so we know from the earlier one that if it's a parallelogram, it has this characteristic. So we're going to rely on that characteristic for this proof. And that is going to uh, 
uh, allow us to show that triangle AED, one of the internal triangles, is congruent to triangle CEB, uh, which in turn uh, is going to give us uh, the usual CPCTC markings, but what that allows us to do is uh, highlight uh, the fourth uh, property of uh, a parallelogram, namely that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Okay, and so I'll remove those markings, and in summary, what we have is uh, a parallelogram by definition is a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel, and then through congruency of triangles, we're able to show that both pairs of opposite sides are congruent, both pairs of opposite angles are congruent, and that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Uh, the important takeaway here is, of course, that these are all theorems, so there isn't a need to memorize these. Uh, the other important uh, piece of information is that these are biconditionals. So what that means is, given a quadrilateral, if you can show that the diagonals bisect, you have proved it's a parallelogram. Given a quadrilateral, if you can show that both pairs of opposite angles are congruent, you can show uh, you you can prove that it's a parallelogram. And similarly, if you can show that both pairs of opposite sides are congruent, you can prove that it is a parallelogram. And finally, of course, by definition, if both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, then it is a parallelogram.